Roof Max of Hickory, affordable roof rejuvenation. Visit MakeMyRoofLast.com. I'm Ralph Mangum here on the WHKY News where it's time for our weekly recap of some of our top crime stories that we had for you during the past week. That's the week of November 25th through November 29th. Here we go now. The Caldwell County Sheriff's Office is seeking a wanted suspect. 47-year-old William Shane Patton is being sought on felony counts of breaking and entering and larceny. He's also wanted for failure to appear on counts including possession of a firearm by a felon and flee to elude arrest. Patton is described as 5'10 and 180 pounds. If you have information regarding Patton's whereabouts, call the Caldwell County Communications Center at 828-758-2324 or call the Crime Stoppers at 828-758-8300. A cash reward is possible if information provided that leads to an arrest. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. According to information released today by a spokesperson with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol, at about 8.10 on the evening of Friday, November 15th, the Highway Patrol responded to a collision in Caldwell County on Dudley Shoals Road near Lawrence Bullock Lane. A 2007 Jeep Cherokee traveling west on Dudley Shoals Road crossed the center line and collided head-on with an eastbound 2016 Honda Civic. The driver of the Jeep, 34-year-old Matthew Stephen Reed of Taylorsville, was not injured. The driver of the Honda, 45-year-old Tara Beth Watson of Granite Falls, and three juvenile passengers were transported to an area hospital with life-threatening injuries. No update on their condition is currently available. Ms. Watson and the three juveniles were reportedly leaving the Dudley Shoals Elementary School Fall Festival when the accident occurred. The initial investigation indicates impairment to be the contributing factor. Reed was arrested and charged with driving while impaired, driving while license revoked, and careless and reckless driving, as reported by WHKY on November 18th. He remains in the Caldwell County Detention Center under a $421,000 bond. An appearance in district court was scheduled today in Lenore. 59-year-old Eric Scott Treadgill of Mooresville was arrested Thursday by Mooresville police officers. He's charged with four counts of third-degree sexual exploitation of a minor. The Mooresville Police Department Criminal Investigations Division conducted an investigation into child pornography. On Thursday, a search warrant was obtained and executed as a result of the evidence seized and information obtained during the interview with the suspect. Tread Gill was arrested and charged. Tread Gill was arrested and taken to the Iredell County Magistrate's Office where he received an $80,000 secured bond. A district court appearance is scheduled for December 13th. And 47-year-old William Danton Buff Jr. of Connolly Springs was arrested by Caldwell County Sheriff's Officers. He's charged with two felony counts of trafficking methamphetamine. Last Thursday, November 21st, at 1150 p.m., deputies with the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office stopped a silver Cadillac for a routine equipment violation near the intersection of Smoky Creek Road and Union Grove Road in Lenore. As soon as the Cadillac stopped, the driver got out and fled on foot, but was quickly taken into custody by deputies. K-9 officer Angie was deployed to the path. The driver ran and found a clear plastic bag that contained over 30 grams of what appeared to be methamphetamine. The driver buff was arrested and charged. Buff was placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center under $50,000 secured bond. A district court appearance was scheduled for December 16th. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. According to police, the suspect in this case assaulted her boyfriend with a baseball bat and fired shots at him. She was arrested following a negotiation with police. She was initially jailed without bond. Bond was later set in this case. 40-year-old Krista Sharice Oates of Charlotte was arrested Thursday by Mooresville Police. She's charged with felony counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill and possession of Schedule II controlled substance. In addition, Oates is charged with misdemeanor counts of assault with a deadly weapon, discharging a firearm in the city limits and communicating threats. 
On Thursday, shortly after 6 p.m., officers responded to a domestic disturbance in which multiple shots were fired. They spoke with the uninjured victim who reported he was assaulted by his girlfriend with a baseball bat. She also allegedly fired shots at him. Officers found multiple shell casings at the scene, obtained the vehicle description and registration plate information of the vehicle used to flee the scene and found that vehicle at the girlfriend's residence. Following a negotiation with police, Oates exited the residence and was taken into custody without incident. Shortly before 8.30 p.m., detectives found the firearm and the bat allegedly used in the assault. Oates was placed in the Iredell County Detention Center following the arrest, initially without bond. Bond has since been set at $52,500. A district court appearance is scheduled for December 13. The suspect in this case is the victim's grandson, 39-year-old Nathan Lee Lowe, was arrested Monday night by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with murder and malicious conduct by prisoner. Shortly after 9 p.m. Monday, the Alexander County 911 Center received a call from a concerned family member requesting a welfare check at an address on Russell Gap Road in Moravian Falls. Deputies were dispatched to the location where they were unable to get anyone to answer the door. After making entry into the residence, they found 86-year-old Betty Curley Tedder, deceased inside, having suffered from apparent trauma. Upon further investigation, deputies found Nathan Lee Lowe inside the residence. He was arrested and charged in connection to Tedder's death. Lowe, who is the victim's grandson, was incarcerated in the Alexander County Detention Center without bond following the arrest. He is scheduled to appear in Alexander County District Court next Monday, December 2nd. The investigation is continuing, authorities say, they will release more information as it becomes available. Reporting from Alexander County, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. 36-year-old Jason Allen Spillers, who lists an unknown address in Asheville, is listed as a homeless person from Charleston, South Carolina, and also lists an address in Fletcher, North Carolina, was arrested by Catawba County Sheriff's officers November 21st on a felony warrant as a fugitive awaiting extradition to another state. He's wanted by the Pooler Police Department in Chatham County, Georgia, on a charge of theft by taking. As of November 26th, Spillers remained in the Catawba County Detention Facility where he is listed as a federal inmate. He's being held without bond. An appearance in Superior Court was scheduled on November 25th with another court date in Newton coming up on January 6th. The two suspects were charged following a traffic stop. 41-year-old Jason Jeffrey Spencer of Morganton and 27-year-old Tequila Cheyenne Queen of Marion were both arrested by McDowell County Sheriff's officers. They're both charged with felony possession of methamphetamine. Spencer is additionally charged with felony possession of a firearm by a felon. Earlier this month, a McDowell County Sheriff's deputy conducted a traffic stop on Spencer and Queen near exit 85 on Interstate 40. A search of the suspect's vehicle resulted in the discovery of drug paraphernalia, suspected amounts of methamphetamine, and a flare gun that had been modified into a firearm. The North Carolina State Highway Patrol assisted the McDowell County Sheriff's Office. Queen, who previously listed a Granite Falls address following earlier arrests reported by WHKY, was placed in jail without bond due to the fact that she was already out on pretrial release. Spencer was issued a secured bond in the amount of $35,000. Both suspects are scheduled to appear in district court in McDowell County next Monday, December 2nd. The two suspects in this case are charged with breaking into a Duke Energy facility. Both suspects are from Catawba County and they face felony charges. The charges were filed in Iredell County. 38-year-old Nash Arthur Reidlinger of Sandy Wood Court in Claremont and 26-year-old Patrick John Lale of J&R Queen Road in Catawba have both been arrested by Iredell County Sheriff's deputies on three felony counts of first-degree trespassing along with felony counts of larceny and possession of stolen goods or property. Last Friday, deputies responded to the Duke Energy substation on Island Ford Road in Statesville regarding a break-in and larceny. Duke Energy employees told deputies 
An unknown suspect or multiple suspects cut a hole through the fence and attempted to steal a large spool of aluminum wire. The wire was valued at about $7,500. It was found a short distance away in a field. Early Monday morning, detectives were alerted the suspects had returned. Detectives and deputies responded and found the two suspects, Lale and Reidlinger, on the property. They determined that the two suspects broke into the Duke Energy facility last Friday and again on Monday in order to steal property. Both suspects were brought to the Iredale County Detention Center under $25,000 bond apiece. Reidlinger has a court date coming up December 16th. Lale was scheduled to appear in court this past Tuesday. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. On November 25th, 2024, narcotic agents with the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office and narcotic detectives from the Lenore Police Department observed two rental cars traveling in tandem on Highway 321 in Granite Falls. Caldwell County Sheriff's Office initiated stops on both vehicles and Sheriff's Office K-9 Angie was used to conduct a sniff of the vehicles after K-9 Angie alerted to the odor of narcotics both vehicles were searched. Deputies located approximately 22.2 pounds of methamphetamine in the trunk of the first vehicle and over $30,000 in U.S. currency in the passenger area of the second vehicle. 34-year-old Keenan Ryan Mishaw of Granite Falls, 33-year-old Essence Jeanette Largent, whose address was not listed, and 36-year-old Kristen Lee Dion of Hickory were all arrested by Caldwell County Sheriff's Officers on Monday. They are all charged with two counts each of trafficking in methamphetamine as well as felony conspiring to traffic in methamphetamine. They were each jailed under $1 million secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court appearance was scheduled for December 18th. The methamphetamine seized has a total street value of $1,526,250 according to the North Carolina State Drug Guidelines. I'm Ariana Mack. For WHKY. There are several suspects on the Iredell County Most Wanted list that was posted on the Sheriff's Office website earlier this month. 46 year old Tony Curtis Connor is wanted on an outstanding order for arrest for failure to appear. He is charged with failing to appear in court on account of possession of a firearm by a felon. Connor's last known address was 121 Mills Hill Lane in Statesville. 29-year-old Rashid Malik Houston Degree is also among the suspects on the Iredell County Most Wanted list. He's being sought on an outstanding order for arrest, charging him with failure to appear on felony counts of robbery with a dangerous weapon and conspiracy to commit robbery with a dangerous weapon. Degree's last known address was 1423 Buffalo Shoals Road, in Statesville. You can see all of the wanted suspects on the Iredell County Sheriff's Office website. That's IredellSheriff.com. If you have any information that can help authorities in their pursuit of these suspects, you can call the Sheriff's Office at 704-878-3180. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Multiple cyber tips were sent to authorities between June and October of this year and that launched the investigation that resulted in the arrest of the suspect in this case. He faces multiple felony charges. He was brought to the Iredell County Detention Center under more than $200,000 bond. A court date is scheduled in mid-December. 62-year-old Michael Todd Everidge of Statesville was arrested Tuesday by Statesville Police. According to the North Carolina Judicial Branch, he's charged with seven felony counts of second degree sexual exploitation of a minor. On Monday, the Statesville Police Department in partnership with the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation searched a residence on Royalty Circle in Statesville. The operation was part of an investigation into the possession of child sexual exploitation material commonly referred to as child pornography. The search followed an extensive investigation that began 
after the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children sent multiple cyber tip reports between June and October of this year. These reports led investigators to identify Michael Todd Everidge as the primary suspect. On Tuesday, Everidge was interviewed by authorities, arrested and charged. He was brought to the Iredell County Detention Center under a $210,000 bond. A district court appearance is scheduled for December 18th in Statesville. A woman arrested by Hickory police faces drug charges. 50-year-old Cynthia Louise Harris, whose address was not listed, was arrested Thursday by Hickory police officers. She's charged with felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. Harris was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under no bond. A district court date is scheduled for December 9th and a Conover man charged with drug and as a habitual felon. 39-year-old Dallas Christopher Hopkins of Houston Mill Road in Conover was arrested Thursday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with possession with intent to manufacture, sell, and deliver methamphetamine and with being a habitual felon. Hopkins was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $10,000 bond. A superior court date is set for January 6th. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. 37-year-old Michael Todd Whitener Jr. of Maiden has been arrested by Maiden police on charges out of Alexander County. There, he was charged with felony fleeing to elude arrest with a motor vehicle, along with misdemeanor counts of driving or allowing a vehicle to be driven with no registration plate displayed, driving while license revoked, simple possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, and speeding. Whitener was jailed November 29th in the Catawba County Detention Facility under a $75,000 bond. He'll appear in Alexander County Superior Court on January 6th. And those were some of the top crime stories we aired during the week of November 25th through the 29th. You'll find our weekly crime summary every Saturday on our YouTube channel, right alongside all the rest of the WHKY News. I'm Ralph Mangum, and I thank you all for joining us.